So you've made a couple market buys and market sells and you decided now it's time for you to level up. You wanna set the exact price that you wanna buy and sell. Let's take a look at limit orders. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Let's take a look at limit orders, which put you in charge of setting the exact price for your buys and sells. Let's jump in. All right, so now that we're comfortable with market buying and selling, let's get a little bit more advanced. If you haven't yet done market buys and sells or don't know how they work, check out our previous video, which will show you how. But let's take a look here at the limit order. So right now we see that Cardano, we're here on ADA USD. We see that Cardano is trading for about a dollar and six cents. But let's say that for your trading plan, you don't want to be paying that much. Let's say your plan says, yeah, I'm not buying Cardano in a dollar and six cents. I want to target this tail right here, or maybe a specific level like 60 cents or something like that. If you're not sure what we're referring to when we say your specific plan, check out our previous video on making the right plan for you so you can act appropriately in every market state. But now, we've got our plan, we know our level, and we say, okay, this is the level I wanna take action. So what I do here is I come to limit buy, and now the price, you can either have it based off of the ask price, which is the lowest price that the sellers are willing to part with, the bid price, which is the highest price that the buyers are willing to pay, or we can go with whatever the last transaction was that was completed and we see here is this dollar and seven and a half cents, okay? Alternatively, we can just type the price in ourselves. We can say, I want it to be at 80 cents and it shows me here where it's going to be appearing or you can click here and actually select, I wanna do right there at that tail and it'll do it at whatever exactly is the price that corresponds to that. Then. We can set either the quantity of ADA we wanna purchase at that level. I can say I wanna purchase 100 ADA and it tells me how much it's going to be in USD. Or we can say the total amount that we want to spend. I wanna spend uh, $100 on this bid and it'll tell me how much ADA I'll get for that price. Then I would just click buy order. It's gonna confirm for me the price that I'm putting in my buy, the amount that I would get if that order was filled and what's the total that I'm going to be spending. Now, since the price that I'm asking to pay is so much lower than what the market is willing to pay right now, when I click on confirm buy, we'll see that it just sits here. It tells me that I'm buying at this level and nothing happens. But that's actually the point, right? Because the idea and the whole purpose of this market buy is that I can go to sleep tonight or I can just forget about it for a couple of weeks. And if either the market slowly comes over and comes down here, or if we see a quick wick that shoots down, this is where I can do what people call buying the dip, right? Where if it was a, a quick washout that happened, I'll get filled because my order is sitting here. Now, of course, whether or not I actually get filled depends on the amount of volume that was happening at that level. And that's where we have to consider things like how much volume is on an exchange. Hopefully by now you did your research on volume and these different things. If you haven't, check out our other video on how to select the right exchange for you, where you can think a little bit more about what exchanges you wanna work with for what currency pairs and what cryptocurrencies you're targeting. So now here we have our buy. We say, okay, I'm gonna buy if it comes down to 68 cents. Similarly, let's say we already had some ADA and we want to sell some. Let's say we had bought it at those 68 cents and we said, okay, I wanna sell when the price doubles. So similarly, I can come to sell and I can come to limit sell. And now what I can do is, same as before, I can do based on bid, ask, or last, right? I can also pick a spot, like I can pick the top here of this wick, and let me change, there we go. We can see, there it is, it's selected, or I can type in a price. Let's say I want to sell at a dollar and 40 cents, way up here, all right? I could do the quantity of ADA I wanna sell, and then I would click place sell order. In this instance, I don't have any ADA, so I can't actually do the sell, but if I did, it would work exactly the same way as when we were buying. It would put it up here, it wouldn't fill it now because the market's not willing to pay as much as I'm saying that I want to get for it. But the benefit of having our sell order already set up way up here is that once again, if the market shoots up in the middle of the night and then immediately crashes back down, I know my order's gonna get filled. Or let's say I'm not gonna be around my computer, I'm going on vacation or something. And sure, it, it trends up slowly, but I'm going camping for a week, or I'm going somewhere where there's no service, or even if it's a volatile day and you're just busy and won't be near your computer or your phone and won't be able to take action if the market moves quickly. These kinds of limit buys and limit sells can help you in either scenario. 
But now, with the concept of limit selling out of the way, if we go back and revisit our limit buy that we did, let's say now we either did our limit buy and it was filled, or as we'd mentioned in our previous video, we did a market buy and we now have some amount of ADA, the next thing we're gonna to want to do to make sure we have full custody of our coins is to get them off of the exchange and onto our wallet where we have full control of our own coins and we can stake them safely and not worry about if the exchange gets hacked or anything out of your control. Check out our next video on how to actually withdraw funds from the exchange and get them into your own hands in either your hardware or software wallet. We'll see you in the next video.